iPhone has a great trick to make it easier for older loved ones. I'm Kurt the Cyber Guy. Follow me at cyberguy.com. That's where you can sign up for my newsletter for free. Now, with a thing called assistive access, you can enable what amounts to a powerful, helpful senior mode. It makes iPhone easier for older loved ones to navigate successfully. So here is how to make it work. Take out your iPhone and follow along with me. First, let's swipe down on the top of your iPhone and type in the word settings. Tap settings when you see it appear like this. Scroll down until you see accessibility and then tap that. Now we're gonna scroll down more until you see assistive access and then tap that. Then click set up assistive access. Now tap continue. Unless you'd like to change the Apple ID associated with this iPhone, tap continue. Now choose the way that you'd like the apps to appear. If you choose rows, more apps can fit on the screen. But if you choose grid, the apps are gonna look larger and a lot easier to see. Let's tap grid and click continue. On this page, you can select the apps that you'd like to appear on your iPhone screen. Tap the plus sign next to the apps you'd like to include, then tap continue. On the next screen, press continue to acknowledge that you've read some important information about assistive devices. Now on this screen, you can change the security settings of your iPhone. If you'd like to keep them the same as they are already, just press continue. Otherwise, tap change security settings and add or remove the passcode or face ID. All right, next, let's set an access passcode. Now type the passcode a second time to confirm it. Now we're gonna tap set recovery Apple ID and type in an Apple ID that you can use to recover access in case the iPhone of you or the older loved one, you know, forgets her passcode. Go ahead and press continue. If you're ready, tap start using the assistive access and your phone is set to senior mode. To turn off assistive access, triple click the side button. On models with a home button, triple click the home button instead. Click exit assistive access code. You'll be prompted to enter your assistive access code and it should be disabled. More smart tips like this at cyberguy.com. Are you getting my newsletter? Open up a browser, type in cyberguy.com and click the little red button.